Tyler, I assume that when it left your hand, you knew that it was it was good. But just walk us through that last possession. Yeah, we were going to Cam. Uh, him and Art had the high mm-hmm. hand all night. Um, so we were going to Cam, actually. But, um, you know, they read the, the flare screen pretty well. I got the switch. And you know, that's all she wrote. <laughs> um, have you ever experienced anything like this, three overtime games in a row like that in any of you guys? No, not me. No. <laughs> No. Are you were kind of powering this team through that first half? What uh, <clears throat> what was working well for you, and and, and how, how good did that feel to have such a dominant win with with that kind of crowd? Uh, I feel like I was just you know letting it come to me. I wasn't really trying to force anything in the first half. I was trusting my teammates, finding them in open spots, and that opened up a lot of the floor for me as well. And I mean, this is a big time win. That was a really good team, and I feel like we put in a lot of work. Like going into this game, our scout team was great. Our coaches had a coaching staff had a great scout for us, and we just did. We put what we learned to play, and it turned out good for us. Cam, with Arthur's dominant performance throughout the game, and then Tyler's big three late, was this the closest thing that you can remember from what Noel and Johnson did from last year's squad? Uh, it's a little different because uh, you know it's a you know it's a lot of us that you know Next question. that fill, <laughs> that fill up you know what I live up to you know last year so yeah. Uh, hey, question for Cam and Arthur. I've already asked Tyler about this, but in your mind, what do you think makes Tyler such a good clutch shooter? Um, TP don't want to play till uh, like the last shoot. Now I'm playing. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, it, it's in his workouts. Uh, you know, when, you know when you see him shooting in the gym. Uh, like and during the summer, we did like 10 minutes shooting, and like towards the end of the 10 minutes shooting, TP hit like 20 in a row. So I guess that's where that come from. Uh, and he's just a clutch player. Mm, no, he's a super clutch player. Smart guard. Uh, great piece on the team. Uh, like I said, his work ethic, it stands out. It shows up, you know what I'm saying? And, and Arthur, was there anything about this game that made you feel like you could be more aggressive than in some others? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Was there anything about the matchup or just the way they were playing you that made you feel like you could be more aggressive in this game? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I was just reading the defense out there and seeing what they was giving me. I guess I was just I was a little more locked in, but that's <laughs> All glory to the coaches and the staff for just preparing me for these moments, and my teammates for also preparing me for these moments. Um, I've been in this position before, believe it or not. A couple years ago against La Tech, I was one for nine, actually, in the same exact thing in a conference championship game. And uh, I hit a game winner in that game. I ended up two for 10. So uh, you got to give all the glory to God at the end of the day. You got to keep shooting. And um, you know, I try not to let it, not, not, not let it bother me. And uh, you know, my teammates just kept telling me to keep my head up, do not worry about it. And um, they knew it was going to come to find me eventually. And um, you know, I'm super thankful for them and the opportunity. Um, in the second half, in the first half, they they start off real hot. But what, what was the biggest adjustment that that you guys made defensively to kind of they had that long long cold spell there to end the first half? Uh, it was a few uh, defensive breakdowns, you know, that got them open looks, and you know we adjusted once we got to halftime and talked about it. We just had to be there on the catch. We couldn't let them just get open looks at the basket from three point range. It was five for seven. And then you guys have your first true. Road game of the season on Saturday, heading down to Baton Rouge. What? How excited are, are you to, to kind of play in an environment like that? Super excited. Uh, you know, we're going back to Cam's land, so uh, <laughs> you don't even got to ask him that that question about how he feeling. But um, you know, that's one we want to win big. Uh, LSU is a great team, and you know, we got a couple guys from Louisiana, so you know that you know it means a little bit more when you're going home. So uh, especially want to win that one for them. And, um, you know, we just got to do what we do. Can't worry about who, who we playing, but just, you know, worry about us. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into the game, you know, with the same approach I go into every game. Uh, you know, and I know my teammates got my back. Are you going to have a lot of family? A lot of family, yeah. But it's kind of, you know, it's, 
it's kind of it's kind of a long day for my family because my brother graduate uh, on the same day. So shout out to my brother for that. I know he gonna watch this. <laughs> Speaking of watching, there were a lot of eyes on this game tonight, and rightfully so. This is the Big East versus the Big 12, and everyone's really interested in these teams. Um, TP, I'm just curious, what do you feel like K-State showed the country tonight? Whew. I rolled um, I know there's been a lot of um, he say, she say about us lately um, over the last couple of weeks. And um, we haven't really paid attention too much to it. We know who we are at the end of the day. We trust in us. We trust in those 15 guys plus staff around us in that, in that locker room and on the floor every day. So um, this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. We're still learning, still trying to figure out who we are, still you know trying to get better every day. And so uh, we got such a long ways to go, but this is a huge step in where we're trying to go. And the biggest thing is continuing to stay positive, uh, and stay even keeled through everything. So uh, not get too high, or get too low, because this is a super long season. It's probably not by coincidence we're walking toward the tunnel. We hear Bob Marley's Don't Worry About a Thing coming up. What's the significance of that song? What's, what's it mean to you? Uh, just what we preach every day. Uh, no matter what goes on through the course of a game, through the course of a season, as long as we stay together, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. And uh, that's what we did tonight. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, our GA, Jared, today, his, his speech for us today was, you know, stay an even killed, whatever gets thrown your way. And uh, we had to during this game because, you know, Villanova, they made their runs, their national championship program, which we knew they would. And uh, staying even killed for 45 minutes uh, led us to where we at right now. Arthur, uh, going back to Kansas City even, we're in the T-Mobile Center, and I asked you about the, your potential. And you said, my potential, I want to be one of the best, best players out there. What kind of steps do you feel like maybe you took tonight toward achieving that? <laughs> I feel like I took some big steps forward, uh, but again, like it's all glory to God and all glory to my coaching staff and all glory to my teammates. I mean, throughout this summer, throughout the course of the season so far up to this point, like we they've had to check me on a lot of stuff. And you know, I feel like them being able to and me being able to take the teaching that they give me is just making me a better player. So as long as I keep listening and I keep going in the right direction, I feel like I can help the team go in the right direction as well. King Arthur. For Arthur and Tyler, you both had your first sandstorm experience, and it's with like three and a half seconds to go. Two for one, and neither one can answer. Are you told about sandstorm prior to the season, and uh, was it hard to focus in the timeout without looking at the crowd? I wouldn't say hard to focus in the timeout, but it's hard to hear. Uh, but uh, it wasn't what I imagined. It's 10 times better than what I imagined it was. Mm -hmm. uh, our students and our fans, we have the best students and fans in the country, and uh, they showed out tonight. And, um, you know, I'm glad to be a part of this environment, part of this program, and so and I can't wait to see them back here on the 17th. In fact, you felt like I was in a movie. Real talk. It was cool. <laughs> it was dim. <laughs> lights dim. There was lights in the crowd and stuff like that. That was, that was far. That was far.